All right, so a parabola is the set of all points x comma y in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line, which is the directric, the directrix. So if we look here, we have a directrix, which is this line, and a fixed point, the focus. So our focus is here, not on the line. The midpoint between the focus and the directrix is the vertex. So from the focus to the vertex, it is the same length as the vertex to the directrix. So that'll be important in some of our examples. Here is our standard equation of a parabola. We either have a parabola that is x squared or our y is going to be squared. When it's x squared, it's a vertical parabola, so it either opens up or it opens down. If the y is squared, it either opens to the left or it opens to the right, so it's a horizontal parabola. Up or down is when x is squared and left or right when y is squared. So we want to focus on these equations down here. Anytime we see that our parabola looks like this and it opens up and our focus is up here, we're going to use this equation. If our parabola opens down and our focus is down here, then we use this equation. If it opens to the right and our focus is over here, then we use this equation. And then if it opens to the left and our focus is in here, we use this equation. So just I like to think of it as a bowl and the focus is just like inside the bowl. Focus is always like where it opens up to. Our focus is h comma k plus p, and this is the equation we're using. So I use this one because my equation look my parabola looks like this with the dot up here. So that's why I'm using this as my focus and this as my equation. So example four says find the standard form of the equation of the parabola with the vertex at the origin and focus zero four. So if we draw our parabola, which is already given to us, but we'll draw it again. Our vertex is at the origin, so it's at 0, 0. And our focus is at 0, 4. So stay at 0, go up 4. That's our focus. So our parabola opens up. It doesn't necessarily tell us that it opens up, but we know it opens up because our focus is at 0, 4. And our parabola is like a little bowl that holds the focus. Bless you. Yes. Now we're using our equation from that last page, the first one. That would be x minus h squared is equal to 4p times x or y minus k. So notice how just our x is squared, the y is not. That's just what makes our equation a parabola. So h and k is our point of our vertex. So what would our vertex be? What point? If it says our vertex is at the origin, what would our point for the vertex be? 0, 0. First one's our h, second one is our k. And then our p, so for our focus, that's where we get our p from in our equation. So our focus is h comma k plus p, which we see on the last page. So going back to the last page. So the focus, h is 0, and this is 4. k plus p is 4. So what do we know p is going to be? If k plus p is 4, then what is just p? Because k is 0. 
4. So we can find P from using this equation, that K plus P in our focus, but we also know that P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So we start at 0, 0, and we go up 4. So that's why P is 4. You could also find it using this equation. So make sure you write this down. This is how we find P. Now we just want to plug in everything we have into our equation here. So we have x minus, what's our h? 0 squared is equal to 4 times, what's our p? 4. And then y minus, what's k? 0. And then we can just simplify. So what does x minus 0 squared simplify to? Just x squared. And then that's equal to 4 times 4, which is 16. And y minus 0 is just y. So this is our equation of our parabola in standard form. So I'm going to add a couple examples on the side over here. Same thing, write our equation of the parabola in standard form. If our vertex is at the origin and the focus is 1, 0. So first thing we want to do is draw it and see what it looks like. So our vertex is at the origin. Our focus is 1, 0. So we go to the right 1, stay at 0. So which way do you think our parabola is going to open? Left, right, up, down. What do you think? It opens right because it has to hold that focus in it. It's like a bowl that's got to have the focus right in the middle. So it opens to the right. So we're going to look at the first page and see which equation we have to use when our parabola opens to the right. So the equation we use is that third one on the page. We have y minus k squared is equal to 4p times x minus h. Our vertex is h comma k, so that's how we find the k and the h. So what is our vertex? If we're at the origin, what point would that give us for our vertex? Zero, zero. So our h is zero and our k is zero. Next, we want to find the p. So the p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So what is our distance between this point and this point? One. So p is equal to one. And that's all we need to plug it into our equation, h, k, and p. So we have y minus k, which is 0, squared. And that's equal to 4 times p, which is 1. And then x minus h, which is 0. And then we can just simplify a bit. We get y squared is equal to 4 times x. one more extra one that's not quite on here. So if our vertex is at 1 comma 3 and our focus is at 1 comma 5. What should we do first? So we want to draw it and see which way it opens, then we can figure out which equation to use. 
So 1 comma 3. We go to the right 1, up 3. There's our vertex. Our focus is 1 comma 5, so we go to the right 5 and the right 1 and up 5. So there's our focus. So which way does it open? Up, down, left, or right? It opens up. So we use our equation, the first one, x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus p. Oops, y minus k. Should be a k. Alright, so our vertex we said was 1, 3. So this is our h, this is our k. What is our p? It's the distance from the vertex to the focus, so 1, 2. P is 2. So we have x minus 1 squared is equal to 4 times 2, which would be 8, times y minus k, which is 3. So this is our equation of our parabola. All right. So we got one more example to do. Example five, this one's a little bit different, actually a lot of it different. We need to find the focus of the parabola given by this equation. If our equation was given to us in standard form, we could find the focus just by using P. But here it's not in standard form, so we wanna put it into standard form. So we're gonna use the X squared standard form equation, so we use the first one. So we have x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. We want to get this equation to be in this form. What do you think I should do first? Looking at this doesn't look very pretty with those fractions. How can I get rid of them? You can multiply everything by 2. Even better, I see that I have an x squared and x, and I know I'm going to have to factor at some point. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 2 just to get this to be a positive x squared. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 2. So I get negative 2y is equal to, this cancels and just becomes positive 1, so just x squared, plus 2x minus 1. Everybody with me so far? Alright. So looking at this equation up here, my x is on the left side and my y is on the right side so I'm just going to move my y to the other side doesn't really change the value of anything I'm just moving that minus 2y to the other side of my equation just rewriting the order that the, it's equal to now I want to focus on my left side so I have x squared plus 2x minus 1. How do you think I can get this just to be some binomial squared? We need to complete the square. So I want this to be a perfect square trinomial over here to get it to be a binomial squared. So I need to put something into my equation here in order to complete the square. I'm gonna move this plus one, this minus one to the other side by adding one to get rid of it. So I just have x squared plus two x, let me write it in here, 
x squared plus 2x. I'm going to put something in here to help me complete the square. So that's equal to negative 2y plus 1. Yeah. So I just move that minus 1 to the other side by adding 1 to both sides just to get it out of the way. Now what do I need to put in here to help me complete the square? B over 2 squared. And what's B? 2. So 2 over 2 squared. What's 2 over 2? 1. So I'm putting in here a 1 squared. So what goes in my parentheses down here? binomial am I going to have with two terms? X and 1. So you just take the two things that are squared and put them in this parentheses squared. So I'm going to put my X plus 1. So I'm adding this 1 squared on my left side of the equation, I need to add 1 squared to the right side also. What's 1 squared? 1. So I'm going to add 1 to my right side. So on the right side here, I get negative 2y plus 2. So I just added that 1 plus 1. Not quite done yet. I got my left side looking pretty similar to my equation up there. I got my binomial squared. But on the right side, I want some number times y minus or plus a number. I want those parentheses on my right side. So how do you think I can get this to have parentheses, my right side? Is there any number that I can take out? I'm going to take out a negative 2 just because I want that y to be positive. So I'm going to divide both of these by negative 2. So I have negative 2 times y minus 1. Now we look just like we're supposed to in standard form. but we want to find the focus of our parabola. So we're not done yet. Do we know what our vertex is just by looking at this in standard form? The signs flip, so it would be negative one, one. So just like how in a circle we flip the signs in the parabola, we do the same thing. So it'd be negative one comma one. This is our vertex. And then the focus, it is h comma k plus p. So what's our h? This is h comma k. What's our h? Negative 1. And then we need to figure out what our p is. So in our equation up here, 4p is what is multiplied to our right side, 4p. So this negative 2 is equal to 4p. So how do I find what p is? Divide by 4. So p is equal to what? Negative 1 half. So here I have k plus p. k is 1 and p is negative one half. So what is one minus one half? One half. So that's my focus, negative one comma one half. A lot of work just for one focus, I get it, but it's nothing we can't handle. 
let's say we had x plus 4 squared is equal to 4 times y minus 3. Our vertex would be what? Flip the signs. Negative 4, positive 3. So you always just flip the signs for your vertex.